Now that we know what a function is, let's practice evaluating functions at given values. Let's take for a first example f of x equals x minus 2. And we're going to evaluate this function at 0. f of 0 equals, let's plug in 0 for x, so we get 0 minus 2. And of course, 0 minus 2 is just negative 2. So f of 0 equals negative 2. Now let's look at f of negative 2. Okay, so we're this time instead of plugging in 0 for x, we're going to plug in negative 2 for x. So we have negative 2 minus 2, and that equals negative 4. So f of negative 2 equals negative 4. What about f of 3? Well, this time we'll put in 3 for x. Then we have our minus 2. So that's 3 minus 2 equals 1. So f of 3 equals 1. What if our function looks like f of x equals 2 times 4 minus x? Let's evaluate this function at the same three values. So f of 0, we're going to take our function x, and we're going to plug in 0 for x. What does that leave us? Well, we have 2 times 4 minus 0, which is just 2 times 4, so that's 8. So f of 0 equals 8. What about f of negative 2? Well, this time, we'll plug negative 2 into our function. Now be careful here, since we have minus a negative, it's a good idea to put the negative 2 in parentheses so we can keep track of those negatives. So here we have 2 times 4 minus negative 2, which is 6. And so 2 times 6 equals 12. So f of negative 2 equals 12. What about f of 3? Well, again, we're going to plug in 3 for x this time. So we have 2 times 4 minus 3. Well, that's the same as 2 times 1, which is just 2. So f of 3 equals 2. Let's look at a little bit harder one. Say we have f of x equals 7x plus 3 times 2x plus 1. Let's evaluate this at 0. So we're going to plug in 0 for x. Then we have plus 3 times 2, and then we're plugging in 0 for x again, plus 1. Okay, so now we need to work through what this is. Well, 7 times 0, we know is just 0. Then we have plus 3 times 2 times 0 plus 1. Well, inside those parentheses, 2 times 0 is just 1, or 2 times 0 is just 0, plus 1. So that really is just 3 times 1 which is 3. Now we have f of negative 2. We have 7, and we want to multiply that. Now instead of x, we're going to replace that with negative 2. Again, since this is a negative number, we're going to put it in parentheses so that we can keep track of that negative. If we didn't put the parentheses there, we might accidentally think on the next step that that was 7 minus 2 instead of 7 times negative 2. Now we're going to replace the x with negative 2 again. So we're going to have 2 times negative 2. Again, remember those parentheses. Plus 1. And now we need to work out what this is. Well, 7 times negative 2 is negative 14. Then we have plus 3 times 2 times negative 2, which is negative 4 plus 1. And now inside those parentheses, negative 4 plus 1 is negative 3, so we have negative 14 plus 3 times negative 3. Well, that simplifies to negative 14 minus 9, which equals negative 23. Now, finally, let's look at f of 3. Again, we want to plug in 3 for x in both places. And now we need to evaluate this and simplify. So we have 7 times 3 is 21, and now inside the parentheses we have 2 times 3 plus 1, so that leaves us with 6 plus 1, and then we have 21 plus 3 times 7, which is 21. So now we have 21 plus 21, which gives us 42, so f of 3 equals 42. 
Now before we end this lesson, I want to show you something interesting. So if we look at the problem we just did, on the right hand side, we don't have this in simplest terms. Okay, we can simplify this and make the problem easier. So if instead of just evaluating it first, if we simplify the right hand side like this, we have 7x plus 3 times 2x plus 1. Well, to get rid of those parentheses, we could distribute the 3. Let's try that. So here we have 3 times 2x, that leaves us 6x, and then 3 times 1, which leaves us 3. Now let's combine the like terms. 7x plus 6x is the same as 13x, and then we're going to add that 3. So what we've done is we've rewritten the equation f of x as 13x plus 3. Notice how much simpler that is than how we started? The cool thing is, now we could plug in those same values that we plugged in to our original f of x, and we'll get the same answers. But plugging them in is a lot easier now.